15.4, trees and minimum spanning trees. Recall a connected graph is one in which there's at least one path between each pair of vertices. A tree is a graph that is connected with no circuits. Example one says which of the following are trees, and, and some of them look like trees, but some of them don't. But keep going back to that definition. It's connected with no circuits. So by that definition, this is connected. You can get to any dot from any dot, and there are no circuits. So yes, this is a tree. This one connected, no circuits. That's a tree. This one... The picture got kind of messed up a little bit. It should actually look like this. Okay. But you can see there's a circuit right there. That's a circuit. So this is not a tree. Next one. Connected. No circuits. That's a tree. Next one is the first one we see that's not connected. That's not connected. Those, those two are not connected to the other four, so that's not connected, so that's not a tree. Next one, connected, no circuits, that's a tree. There I see a circuit, that can't be a tree. In a tree, there is exactly one path from a vertex to any other vertex in the graph. A spanning tree is a subgraph that includes every vertex of the graph and forms a tree. Number two says find a spanning tree for the graph shown. So you can see it's, it's not a tree by itself because there's a circuit. We want it to be connected without any circuits. So there's a couple of different ways to do that. But if you connect, let's say we do something like this. That would do it. That would connect it. That's, that's connected, no circuits. So that would be one example of a spanning tree. So let's go ahead and redraw it. We've got point A, point B. E, C, D, F, H, oh wait, I messed that up. Let's try this again, that shouldn't have been there. Try this again, sorry. That's C, that's D, H, okay. F, G. So the way I saw this was here. That's not the only way to do it, but that's one way to do it. Minimum spanning tree. Well, not a minimum because we don't know the numbers yet, but that's a spanning tree. A minimum spanning tree is a spanning tree with minimum total weight. And so we're going to use that to solve some problems. Kruskal's algorithm for finding a minimum spanning tree says, step one, darken the edge with a minimum weight from those not yet selected. Two, repeat step one without creating a circuit until all vertices are connected. So keep repeating step one, step one, step one. Note, a minimum spanning tree with n vertices has n minus one edges. Example three says, gravel roads connect six villages and district. There's not enough funding to pave all the roads, but good paved roads are needed so emergency vehicles can travel between the villages. The vertices in the graph represent the villages and the edges represent the existing gravel roads. Estimated costs for paving the roads are shown in millions of dollars. Help the district council find the cheapest solution, a route, um, a route that paves just enough roads for emergency vehicles to travel from any village to any other at the lowest possible cost. 
Sorry about the, the quality of the text there. Something got messed up. Okay, so it says step one, darken the edge with a minimum weight. All you have to do is find the smallest, the smallest weight. So let's say this one is a one. Okay, step two, repeat step one without creating a circuit. So basically all I'm going to do is find the smallest number and make sure it doesn't make a circuit. So right here, 1.5. Okay, I want to hit all of the vertices. Notice there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six vertices, so there should be five edges. So what's the next lowest number? This three right here? Okay. Keep going. You keep finding the smallest numbers. What's the next smallest number? Four? Okay. Now the next smallest number is 4.5, but we better not do that one. Okay, we can't do 4.5 because that makes a circuit. If we closed in 4.5, we would have a circuit right here, and we can't have that. All right, we don't want to. We don't want a circuit. So 4.5, that's out. Don't do that one. What's next? Seven. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and you'll know you're finished when you get to all of the dots. When you've got five edges that connect to the six dots that's finished. Okay, so, you know, let me redraw this here. There's a point, there's a point, and there's a point. This one goes down to here, and, whoops. This one goes over here, and up to here, and down to here. That's what that looked like right there. And so you had a 7 and a 1 and a 1.5 and a 4 and a 3. There's your minimum spanning tree right there. We just need the lowest weight. We need to add up those numbers. So if you add up those numbers, 7 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 1.5, that's 10, 15, 16.5. That's a 16.5 total. Or if you put it in context of this problem, that would be $16.5 million. Number four, a chemist has synthesized a new chemical compound. She knows from her analysis that a molecule of the compound contains 54 atoms and that the molecule has a tree-like structure. How many chemical bonds are there in the molecule? Well, it's going to have N minus one edges, and that's what they're talking about with the bonds. It's going to be a, a tree with 54 vertices, so we're going to have N minus one, which is 53 edges. Okay, so 53 chemical bonds. Okay, talking about an atom. You know, we got 54 atoms, but their bond is just the edge. Okay, so 54 atoms, 53 bonds. Number five, suppose a graph is a tree and has 15 vertices. What's the greatest number of vertices of degree five that this graph could have? Draw such a tree. All right, this is pretty tough. You might do it by trial and error, but there are a couple of things that we can talk about here. If there are 15 vertices, then that means we'd have 14 edges. Now, a couple of lessons ago, we had something called the sum of the degrees theorem. And with 14 edges, you could say that the sum of the degrees is 28. And that's useful information for us in this problem. Okay, 15 vertices, 14 edges. 14 edges are going to have a, a total sum of all the degrees would be 28. All right? So let's think about this. If we know there are 28 degrees total, Okay, let's say um, how many how many degree fives are there? Okay, so if there's only one degree five, then that must mean okay that's degree five. If there's 28 total degrees, there must be 23 
other degrees in that graph. Which is certainly possible, but maybe we can do two degree five vertices. If we did two degree five vertices, that's 10 degrees, there could be 18 other degrees. Okay, oops, I almost forgot. If there was one degree five, then there would be 14 other vertices. If there were two degree fives, then there would be 13 other vertices. And so what I'm saying here, there, there'd be 23 degrees to be split among 14 vertices, or 18 degrees to be split among 13 vertices. Or if there were three degree five vertices, that's 15 degrees, three times five is 15, 28 minus 15 is 13. So you'd have 13 other degrees left over to make 28. 15 plus 13 is 28 for 12 other vertices. And that's still possible. But if we tried to do four, if there were four degree five vertices, four times five is 20, that only leaves eight degrees more for 11 vertices right? Because we have four vertices over here. There must be 11 more to make our 15. That's what we're doing, but that's not going to be possible. You can't have eight degrees for 11 vertices, otherwise they won't be connected, and that won't be a tree anymore. Remember, a tree has to be connected. So this seems to be the answer. What's the greatest number of vertices of degree five? Well, there could possibly be three, And that's going to leave 13 degrees for 12 other vertices. So now we have to try to draw that. Okay. Don't have a whole lot of room, but let's, let's see what we can do. Okay. So let's make this one of our fives. Okay. So That's a degree five right there. Okay. Now I think there's supposed to be three degree five. So now we've got a second one. third one. Okay. So check out what we've got at this point. Okay. At this point we have three degree fives and we're supposed to have 12 other vertices with a total of 13 degrees. Okay. So I've got a bunch of degree ones, right? One, 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 one. Okay. Add up all those degrees. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 plus 15 is only 26. Okay, so I've only got 26 degrees showing right now, and I've only got how many, how many vertices? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I've got 14 vertices. I need one more. Okay, and so I need, to, I need to add another vertex on there. Now, don't connect it to one of the fives. You're going to have to connect it to one of the ones. So let's just see what that does. That makes this one a degree two now and this one a degree one. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 vertices. And degrees are one, two, I've got 13 in blue and 15 in red. That's going to do it. That's an overall degree. A sum of the degrees is 28. I've got five. Uh, I've got three degree fives, and that's it. There's my picture.